we want to welcome everyone, all global leaders to advance hashtag Arden Speakers Masterclass. We have a very exciting session, the power of host masters. Before that, let me give you a little bit of a background of advanced hashtag other speakers. We were chartered during the pandemic and we are very diversified with members from all over the world. At the same time, the common denominator in all of us is that we are all purpose driven. We are all leaders influencing our own tribe. Most importantly, we would like to make a world a better place where we become a better communicator and a better leader. We are eternally grateful to Dr. Dr. John Lau. He has been with us since day one when we started our master class. In fact, he was the only global leader that will always give a presentation year in, year out. He has been with us from Masterclass 1.0, 2.0, and now 3.0. To know Dr. a little bit more, it's my honor to hand the control over to our Toastmaster of the day, Alicia Curtis, the single Toastmaster. She's presently serving in District 49 as a Division Director. Apart from that, she was also the immediate past Program Quality Director of District 100. With this, let us give the loudest round of applause to welcome our Toastmaster of the day, Alicia Curtis, this thing with Toastmaster, all the way from Sydney and Newcastle. Over to you, Alicia. Thank you so much, Patricia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's masterclass session. My name is Alicia Curtis, as Patricia has alluded to, and I will be introducing our wonderful speaker today, Datuk John Lau. Before I actually bring him up to the virtual podium, I'll give a bit of a brief on a bit about our wonderful past international president located over in Borneo, over in East Malaysia. So Datuk Dr. John Lau, as we know, was the past international president and served as the first ever Malaysian international president for Toastmasters International in the years 2012 to 2013. So a huge round of applause for Datuk, yay. He served as the district governor for District 51 in 2002 and 2003. And I love the story that he shared many moons ago with my division back in, I think it was July or August, about how he had to overcome SARS to really think about how he actually evolutionized the way Toastmasters could play out in Southeast Asia because he didn't just look after Malaysia, he looked after quite a big chunk of Southeast Asia. He was President's Distinguished District Governor or District Director, as we now say, and number one in the world whilst leading the district um, in a whole series with a SARS, so an amazing achievement. I believe he charted 51 clubs and then it was a net growth of 49 in that year. He is the founder and chairman of the Sarawak Patriot Association and the, I'm going to try and say this right, Pesuatuan, um, Kepalisian, Kepalisian Community Sarawak and he's a self-made business magnet and philanthropist philanthropist. I can't say that word, but that's okay. Please welcome to the virtual stage with the power of Toastmasters, Datuk, Dr. John Lau, distinguished Toastmaster and past international president. G'day, sir. G'day, Meg. Good afternoon, all, for those who are in Malaysia and for those of you who come from the United States. Good morning. No, good evening because it's not morning yet in California. It is my honor today to share with you my story on the power of Toastmasters. How many of you believe that Toastmasters have some power? Or how many of you believe you have some power? If you feel that you have some power, Please type one in the chat box. Let's do it in 10 seconds. Well, so many one. Very good, very good. Super. All of you got the power. So as Toastmasters, 
Now, what is Toastmasters' three key phrases that inspire me to join Toastmasters back in the year 1990, September 4th? At that time, in whole of the island of Borneo, there was only one club. After that, it spread over to Miri, to Katakinambalu. So the power of Toastmaster Club, they got three key phrases. That was better listening, better thinking, and better speaking. I would say in today's language, it will be better listening, better thinking, and better communicating. In Toastmasters, I learned to speak less and to listen more. Why? When I was young, my father always told me, well, my father has left this world 45 years ago. I still remember what he told me. He said, son, when you are in school, speak less, listen more to what your teacher has to tell you, what the teacher was teaching you. You must listen more. When you listen more, you gain knowledge. When you gain knowledge, you can think, you can analyze things better. You can solve a problem faster than anyone else. Hmm. That time I listened here, it stay here, some of it, it come out on my right ears. But as I move along in life, I felt what my father told me, what my father taught me was correct 100%. So what is better listening? I have a very nice shot there. What is better listening? When we listen more, we can understand more. It will improve our understanding level, understanding skill. If we can understand your friend, like for me, I can understand Patricia, Alicia, Watana. I can understand Lucky, I can understand Amiran from Kota Kinabalu, we can enhance good relationship. So when we enhance good relationship, when we work in a project, what can we do? What will be the benefits? The benefit will be it increase productivity. So therefore better listening, Help, help us to improve understanding, enhance relationship, and increase productivity. So therefore, we need always to be attentive. If we do not understand what the speaker was saying, was telling, telling me, I would say, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Patricia. Excuse me, president. Would you mind to enlighten me? I won't, I will never ever say, Patricia, I don't understand you. Can you explain? That I learned in Toastmasters, we need to choose the right word. The word that come out from our mouth need to be diplomatic, need to be soft enough to touch the soft part of our friends. So, Patricia, would you mind to enlighten me? This is a very diplomatic word and nobody will get angry with you. So listening is very important. I will not go through the seven key active listening skill because my focus will not be there. Now, the next one was better thinking. From listening, we gain knowledge. We learn things new. We can understand. Then we aspire to do something. When we aspire to do something, what do we do? 
we take actions. We synthesis and we analyze what we have done. So the right flow would be knowledge, comprehension, application, analyze, synthesis, and take action. Better thinking. Now the words we use in thinking is very important because thoughts become things. The, the type of work you choose to think will produce the person of who you are. If you use a soft word or soft diplomatic positive word to think, people look at you, you will be seen as a positive, enthusiastic, dynamic person. If you use a negative word to think, people look at you, people see you as a negative person. So better thinking is very important. How could we improve our thinking skill? Through knowledge, through understanding, through applying what we learn so that we aspire to do what we want to do. then we can analyze things better. People ask me, I think it was Patricia. He said, John, why do you have two doctorate degree? Is one doctorate not enough? The other day there was a former Toastmaster, Hai Liang, formerly of MNKL Toastmaster Club. He have a Zoom call with me. John, I want to go for doctorate. Why I need to go for doctorate? I share with that the difference between a doctorate and a master degree and a bachelor degree, there is no difference. But there is one significant difference. That is, if you got a doctorate degree, you can get out of the problem faster. You know why? Because a doctorate degree holder, a person uh, have the necessary knowledge and skill can understand the, the problem better and he apply what he has read, what he has heard, what he have listened into solving the problem. So better thinking. We have, I have shared with you better listening, better thinking. Now, what about better speaker formula? What is that formula? Formula is we need to choose the correct words, the pitch, the pass, and the tone. We are communicating. I am sure my brother Lucky definitely can remember when he proposed to his wife, <laughs> asking the wife to marry King. What voice were you using, Brother Lucky? I was actually speechless. I would say Brother Lucky was speaking a very low, soft voice. He would say, honey, would you mind marrying me? As compared to, honey, would you mind to marry me? I think. The girlfriend will say, let me think about it. Then Lucky will say, come on, come on. We have been for so many, so many years already. Come on. The girlfriend will say, can you change your tone, your pitch? Yeah. So yeah. a softer word with a low tone and pitch speaks slowly speaks volume of what you want to gain. Look at some very famous politician like Barack Obama, the former president of the United States. He said, I think in 2004, the party Congress 
he said. My father was an immigrant. My mother is an American. I never expect myself to stay here before all of you to speak with you because of my origin. He was very thankful. He was very straightforward, very sincere in what he said. And what happened? He was nominated for president in 2008, and he won the election. So the, the, the work we choose to speak is very important because the more we choose better words to communicate, to send a message, we can communicate better. When we can communicate better, we become more competent. And when you are competent, you have that confidence. What I call the three C's, the better speaker formula. Communication, competent, and confident. When a husband and wife quarrel, what would happen? They always start screaming and shouting. But it do be the soft voice that will calm down a family problem. Would you all agree with me? It will be a softer voice with positive words, pace and tone that will resolve a conflict at your club, at your workplace with your customers. So, fellow Toastmasters, please consider this. Better listening, better thinking, better speaking. Those were the three phrases left over by Dr. Ralph C. Smedley, as now we are into the 99th year of Toastmasters in assistant in this world. And next year, it will be 100 years old. Now, with better listening, better thinking, and better speaking, what can we, what values can we give to the community? Will you be able to influence people better? That's the key. We can influence, inspire people better. Now, what about besides influence people better? You will be able to be a leader that lead a team to do something. You will be able to do presentation, winning presentation much better. And you can win in every conversation. No matter you move from Singapore into Australia, into America, into China, into Japan, you listen, you learn, you think, you speak, align with the culture of that group of people. So it all comes from better listening, better thinking, better speaking. You can be a good leader, good influencer, someone who can inspire. If you read the Toastmaster magazine, I can't remember which month. It should be November 2012 or December 2012. I wrote about why I joined Toastmasters. It was because I want to improve my business presentation skills. Because those days, if I did came presentation, I can only get four contracts. To me, that was no good. I fell back. 
So I joined Toastmasters. Within two years, in 10 presentation, I can I I have got five, six, seven, eight contract signed within two years. So my business presentation skill improved. And my success rate improved by two times from four to eight out of 10 presentation. And why? I'm a better listener, better thinker, and I choose the right words, right pitch, right tone in my presentation. And also in Toastmaster, why Toastmaster is so powerful? What is the power that I get in Toastmasters? In Toastmasters, I always get constructive feedback. I share with you openly. I was once being evaluated by an evaluator that said this, John, you have no future in Toastmasters because your English accent carried a lot of futile language. No future for you. If I were you, Look for greener pasture elsewhere to train your communication skill. To me, that was a real constructive feedback. <coughs> what did I do after that? I bought a pronunciation dictionary, a CD wrong at that time. Every word before I speak, I will check the correct British or American pronunciation. And I continue to learn one after the other. Until then, when my mentor in America, Gene Smith, and Gene Smith as past director, and Bob Blackley, a past international president, come to me and say, John, you need to run for the board. Your English now is much better than when we first met in the year 2000. And that happens in August 2004. Fellow Toastmasters, if I did not take that feedback from that evaluator, I think, I will disappear somewhere. I may not have an opportunity to meet all of you. So constructive feedback, very important. I have to thank, express my sincere appreciation to, their, to that evaluator who gave me a sincere feedback. Now, in Toastmasters, I learned through constructive feedback, I learned what was my strength, what were my weaknesses. I learned from my weaknesses, so the weaknesses becomes my strength. I learned my strength so that I can get more strength in life through mentoring. That's why I have a blood of mentor in my life. A lot of them in America, a lot of them here in Malaysia, and anyone who have mentored me, like past international director, Christine Templike, like past international director, Mamuna in Indonesia, like Gene Smith, the late Gene Smith, like Bob Blackley, the past international president, they all have mentored me. Bob Blackley will say, John, I will be very straightforward with you. I don't want to be diplomatic. He was straightforward, I learned. The more I learned, I built up my confidence level. That was the reason why. 
<laughs> when they motivate me to run for office, I say yes. He said, John, when you run for vice president and Toastmaster, please be prepared to run twice. And also be prepared to run from the floor. I faced the challenge and the members has voted for me. And I become the first Malaysian, so far the only one, but I hope there are more Malaysians who are willing to come forward to be mentored, to receive constructive feedback, to build up the confidence, to run for office, and to serve the world. My screen is stuck. All right. Second one, I like to say this. In Toastmasters, from better, better listening, better thinking, and better speaking, our skill, our our public speaking skill, our communication skill, our leadership skill, our skill in the workplace will improve lips and bound, just like the diagram moving up. And your success will be determined by your own confidence and fortitude, according to what Michelle Obama said. Michelle Obama was the former first lady of America. It will be turning by our own confidence and fortitude. Now, what leadership skill do I learn in Toastmasters? Do I learn anything? I'm a person very disorganized before I joined Toastmasters. When I joined Toastmasters, I learned the planning organizing work. I can plan anything I want to do. I have my project plan. I can organize the team. And I can monitor their progress. Whenever I lead a group of people, my secret was I always buy food for my team member. You know why, Patricia? Because food is the number one motivator to motivate your team to achieve what the team aspire to do. So I did spend some personal money. So when we lead, to lead is to inspire people. And if we have problem with thinking, the words we choose in the thinking process how could we inspire people with negative words? You can't. I remember when Ivy, my daughter, was, was still young, I think about six years old, and her brother was three years old. We went for a walk at the park, at the water park in Kuching. I was walking in front. I thought as the father, as the head of the family, I need to lead the team. But Ivy said, Papa, you are the leader in the family. Why you walk in front? I look at her. I said, Ivy, then how should I walk? Hand in hand? No, you need to walk at the back so that you can coach me, you can teach me whether the working steps that we make were correct, so that you can guide me, you can lead me from behind, not from in front. Yeah, in Malaysian politics, you will see all the elected representative, the minister, whenever they take photographs, they want to stand in the middle, I think. That is not so good. In Toastmasters, whenever taking photograph, I never ever like to take the middle, middle position. So my fellow Toastmasters, I can't see the timer. Can 
Can I know how much time do I have? Hello, timer. Yeah, there, there is in the four minutes. It's 26 minutes. 20, I got four more minutes to go. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Problem with my slide. Well, since the slide could not move, I would like to conclude here. I think the best thing is to conclude. In Toast, the power of Toastmaster is to groom us, to shape us, to lick us, to inspire us to become a better listener, better thinker, and better speaker. Everything comes from the same thing. I remember when I was young, if I, if I did not follow what my mom asked me to do, my mom would use her tender, loving care. And he would say, son, will pull my ears. You did not listen. Uh -huh. You see, listening is so important. We learned when we were young. A lot of parents now did not discipline. Uh, no, a lot of parents choose not to discipline the children now. You know why? They felt that if you discipline them so, the children, if you correct and discipline the children when they make a mistake, it's no good parenting. To me, that is not correct. Otherwise, when the kids grow up, the parents need to engage lawyers to defend the crime committed by the children. So therefore, think about it. Better thinking, better listening, better speaking. A great role model. Fellow Toastmasters, I wish you all the best in your, in your Toastmastering journey and which you reach the top. Don't just go for club president, go for area division district director, international director, go for international president all the way, either from Australia or from Malaysia or from any places in the world, and you are all qualified to be there. My slide is moving. My last slide. A Toastmaster empower individual to become more effective communicator and leaders where we find life in the balance. Over to you, Toastmasters of the day. Thank you very much, Datuk. I think we should all unmute ourselves, give Datuk a huge round of applause. Unmute, unmute. Yay! Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love all the messages. Right. We greatly appreciate your um time today, Datuk. I'm now going to hand over the virtual lectern to our FAQ master, Shui Sin. Shui Sin, please take it away. Thank you so much, our Toastmaster of the day, and of course, our special speaker, Dr. John Lu. So I believe that it's very inspiring for me also, and it's such an honor uh, to listen to your amazing sharing. So everyone, a uh, better speaker, better thinker, and of course, like better listener. So thank you. So now it is uh, question and answer time. So everyone, if you have any questions, feel free to send in the chat box and we are picking up and let's ask the uh, our speaker and earn the inspiration. So now uh, I do have one question. So here, what is one idea that you have changed your mind uh, on throughout this life transforming Toastmaster journey so far? What is the one uh, idea that you have changed your mind in this life transforming Toastmaster journey? I grew up in a very negative minded family. And when I joined Toastmasters, it has changed the negative thinking into positive thinking. When people say no, I will say, yes, I can do it. I dare to take the first step 
to undertake to tackle any challenges that comes my way. Thank you. Thank you so much. So everyone, when people say no to you, you just say yes and prove it. And just show your power because I believe that we all believe that we all have the power to achieve anything we want. So yes, just believe in yourself and say yes. Thank you so much. And now, uh, any question, everyone, uh, feel free to ask. Like maybe you can unmute yourself or maybe you can send the question in the chat box. Okay, so now uh, here one more question. Like uh, when the Toastmaster, when we started our journey, we cannot have the balance. For me also personally cannot balance like uh, joining a lot of Toastmaster meeting and visiting a lot of clubs and then he, like uh, cannot balance uh, in the start of the journey, but now we can start. So how would you say the new joiners or new Toastmasters uh, to have the balance in life and of course in Toastmaster? So yes, what is your idea about that? Two words, manage priority. What is your priority in life? <clears throat> when I was traveling in America in 2012 and 2013 for almost six months, my business here are still moving. And to be honest with you, I make the most money when I was international president. My Ooh. business here in Malaysia, in my absence, I know how to manage my priority and I know how to delegate my work to other people. So young Toastmaster, when you join, never ever say you have no time to no time to do your manual speeches, to do your pathway. That is not a good reason though. <laughs> Manage your time because when you learn, when you can master your communication skill, the sky will be your limit. So therefore, manage priority. I at the present moment, I manage many business, but I'm still active in non-governmental organization like community policing, like Petra, like Civil Awareness Community Association. I'm still very active in crime prevention, number one, and crime has dropped. I continue to build good relationship with the top government officers. I won't say, John, sorry, I don't have time. Don't have time is only an excuse to run away to me. So anything come along, be responsible. Grab the bull by its horn and never sweep anything under the cup. Wow, what a great sharing. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's give a round of applause for all the young Toastmasters. Make sure you manage your priorities, know your priorities and manage it. And of course, manage your time. And this is so inspiring. Although you were an international president, you make the most money in that term. So that is really amazing for all of us. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so now we do have one more question from our participant, our guest, Toastmaster Jeffrey. He asks, is gratitude the best attitude for you? Is gratitude the best attitude for you? Gratitude means being thankful. Thankful to what the members have done, thankful to your club, Thankful to your area, division, district, and Toastmaster International. Yes, gratitude is an inspiration to me. As I mentioned, anyone who helped me in my Toastmaster journey, they were my mentor. I mentioned two, four person just now. There are many other people who have been my mentor, including in Kuala Lumpur, Dr. Arunathan, a medical officer, a medical doctor. Hold on the line, I, I received a phone call from a distance.
while we are waiting for Dato, why not all of us put down your most important takeaway from today's session? Let Dato, let all of us know what is the most important takeaway from this very, very impactful, <laughs> certainly jam-packed session. Over to you, Dato. Thank you. What was the questions? What was the question just now? Oh, okay. The question hasn't received yet. Okay. So now, uh, anyone, any question? Like, because no, you I'm mentioned about gratitude. Yes, gratitude. Yes. What do you? What was the question about gratitude? Uh, is gratitude the best attitude for you? Yes. yes. Gratitude is the best attitude. The member who evaluated me critically, I always recognize him whenever I meet him. Never ever I say something bad. That is me. And Patricia know me, Lucky know me. I think Lucky know me longer. Lucky, you are the witness whether John Lau has criticized or bad mouth any member. I think no, I may have. I may have not, not, not heard of, but very seldom. Very, very seldom. Maybe out of 10,000 times, maybe 0 0.5 times, yes. <laughs> I must say that because no human are perfect. So, therefore, the best attitude in this world is sure appreciation. I appreciate Patricia to put me on this stage today. And to skin me, skin, you know, to skin me with question and answer. Thank you, Patricia. Over to you. Question Thank master. You so much. Show appreciation, everyone. Make sure you show appreciation and give the compliments to the people around you because gratitude is the best attitude for all of us. And of course, it is like also positive thinking. Thank you so much. So now we have one more question from our uh, guest, Gujarati. He asks, oh, sorry, uh, Kimbali. She asks, what's your advice take to not be emotionally affected, feel sad when we feel disappointed or let down by a club leader? What is your advice? Take not to be emotionally affected or feel sad when we feel disappointed or let down by a club's leader. Sorry, Dato, uh, we can't hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am muted. I believe a lot of you, the 50 of you, or 50 of us in this room, we speak Chinese sometimes. But if you can't understand Chinese, like the quiz master, I can translate for you. The Chinese there is a very good saying, 对事不对人. Whenever you make with a conflict, with a misunderstanding, always deal with the problem, not tackle the person. That's the key. For all the club presidents, same thing. Deal with the problem, not tackle that person. That is no good. So therefore, if a club president is very emotional, if I were you, accept that club president because he is emotional. Learn how to manage an emotional person. A skill you may not learn elsewhere. <coughs> During my journey in Toastmaster in my business circle, I worked with a German firm before. I met with very emotional people. I learned how to manage him. And whenever I would go to see him, I will buy him the best alcoholic drink that he always take a few cups before he go to sleep. This yeah. is 
Wow. This is to manage emotion. We can say my club president is emotional. Forget it. I'm not going for club meeting. We make that mistake. Because in Toastmaster, whatever we learn is for our own benefit. Therefore, we need to manage that emotional person. Deal with the problem, not take out a person. If I were you, I were have an appointment with that club officer, come for, I buy you a drink, let's talk privately in a private place and speak it out. Four eyes, I'm on four eyes. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much for this powerful answer. And I really feel powerful and what learned a lot. Deal with the problems, not tackle with the person. So everyone, thank you so much for participating in this Q&A session. And we really love to have you. Uh, thank you so much, our speaker, uh, Dr. Jill Law. And this is really amazing meeting and what an auspicious session from all of you. And I feel love and of course, inspiration a lot. Thank you so much. Now it is the time to give the control back to our Toastmaster of the day, DTM Alicia. Thank you so much, Shrey Sin, and thank you very much for your FAQ Master session. I hope everyone enjoyed. So I think we want to do some photos now. I think we've got the photo time. Is that right? Yes, Pat? photo. And we will also do the appreciation, certainly, to our awesome. beloved Dato Dr. John Lau. All right, I'm yeah. going to hand over to Patricia and let her take over this session. Thank you, Pat. Thank you so much to our Toastmaster today, Alicia Curtis. And right now, we would like to have our Aleph to get ready with the moments of appreciation, acknowledgement to Dato, because you have given us so many, not just great tips, but really applicable lessons and values that we can take home. We would like to have all of you to also ponder upon some of the things that you really learned today that you can bring forth for the remaining days before we end the year 2023. Before that, may I ask Alif if we are ready to show the slides to appreciate Dato and certainly also our role players. Whenever you are ready, Alif, thank you. And camera lady, Patsy, if you are ready as well, we would like to have the photos taken, certainly. I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. for being our most amazing, amazing masterclass speaker. And Ali, would you be able to highlight? Yes. And take a photo on your account, Patsy. Take it away. <laughs> okay, I'm going to count one, two, beautiful, three. Thank you. Well done. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, Dato. Can't say enough thank you to you. And we also like to have Dato to stay on the screen while we appreciate and thank all our role players of the day. We have Zoom Master Aleph, myself, and Toastmaster Day Alicia Curtis, Patsy, who is our photographer, FAQ Master Sui Sin. Timer, Sanduni, and certainly ask Dr. Anything Master Daphne. I know some of you have more questions, so please stay back. After 1.30, you will have some private session with Dato, and at the same time, facilitated by Daphne. All right, looks like we all have been spotlighted. Whenever you are ready with your largest gratitude smile, let us give Dato the biggest smile and also thank yourself for being present. Patsy, over so, to you again. <laughs> and let's, okay. yeah, let's spam it with the love. Yeah, we need a lot of love to this world, certainly. Yes. That's, that's right. That's so inspiring. So that's count one and two. Beautiful smile, three. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. With this, it's the time to have all our audience to get ready as well. Just unspotlight all of us and we will have all the audience, if you are able to, please turn on your video because we certainly want to capture this very memorable moment. You never know today can be that day that you're going to change your life. It can be your life-changing moment. All right, we'll give you five more seconds. And before that, our camera lady, certainly our VPPR Patsy is ready to take photo of all of you. So all of you, 
get ready with your most grateful smile. As the Americans just celebrated Thanksgiving, we are also here reminding ourselves how grateful, how thankful we are that we are in this perfect organization to learn to grow without judgment. Over to you, Patsy. Great. Let's have a big smile of the week. So there are two pages. Let's do the first one. The first page, you don't know where you are, right? So no matter which page, please keep a smile. One, two, three. Oh, bear me for a sec. You might be on the second page as well. So I'm going to the second page and just a sec and hang there. Okay, great. Please switch on the cameras. I still see some members did not have not to switch on. Okay, all right. I'm going to come. Stay there. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Patsy has been working very hard for all of us. In fact, her time right now, Calgary, what time is it, Patsy? Uh, 10 23. <laughs> 10 23, <laughs> and she's still working hard for all of us because of this. Thank you, Patsy. And certainly, I'd like to invite all of you to unmute yourself. We have done this earlier, but it's so important that we extend our greatest gratitude to Dato, who has made his time available to us. Dato has been very busy, in fact, he's a very busy man all the time. So it's certainly an honor to have his time with me. If you do the math, you will know every minute Dato spent here is money. It's, it's really money because time is money. But Dato is here to bless all of us. So because of this, I would like to encourage all of you to please unmute yourself in your own preferred dialect language, whatever it is. Tell Dato you are so, so grateful. All right. So I'll give you a few seconds to do that. On my count, three, two, one. Thank you, Dato. Thank you, Dato. Thank you so much. Wow, I'm hearing some foreign languages. All right, now let's do everything in English. Yeah, yeah. Let's do everything in English right now, but very simple. Just I love Dato, okay? Do I love Dato? Oh my God, I want to be a conductor right now. Okay, let us really, really uh, appreciate Dato because there's so much learning together taking place. Yes. All right. So we're going to do this three times. Okay, three times. I love Dato. I love Dato. I love Dato. Why we love him? Because he has been there. He's been on that journey and he's right now demonstrating and sharing his priceless experience. Ladies and gentlemen, whenever you are ready on my count, three, two, one. I love I that Yes, last but yes, not least, tell love. the universe, you love yourself. You love to grow yourself. And I that is myself. why you are spending time. You are spending time when you could be elsewhere, but you have decided to come and learn and grow. And Lee, the world needs all of us right now. Look at what is happening to the world. Better communicator, better leader would have made our world so much better. Tell yourself, I love yourself in your own language. Mm. I love myself. I love myself. Type your name in the chat box right now. Tell the universe you are here with a purpose. I there are so you. many great things that we can do when we aspire to be a better listener, a better thinker, and certainly a better speaker. These are the power of Toastmasters. You don't get it elsewhere. Yes, you can pay some tuition fee, join any of the classes out there, but to have a permanent environment a sustainable environment to practice your skills, let me tell you. Toastmasters is the only platform that I've found 
Is that right, Dato? That's why you are here. That's why you're so passionate. This is the only platform you can find. And it's lasted almost 100 years, my dear. It speaks volume. Thank you so much for being this amazing, amazing community. Now we are going to move on to Ask Dato Anything session. But before that, we need to do justice to let Dato know what your biggest takeaway is. I've asked the questions earlier to ask you to ponder upon. And now let's type it in, in the chat box. Tell the universe, what is your strongest, biggest takeaway? Take it away with you so that you are able to practice. Practice day in, day out until you become a master. It takes more than 10 years to be a master. And there is no shortcut, but you'll be so happy, just like what Dato has mentioned. He kept on practicing to be a better speaker. And he right now is at the top of the world and he is still actively learning. Patricia, I need to take 30 seconds off. Please, please do so. And let us quietly type in the chat box in 30 seconds you have this time. Tell us what your takeaway is. Okay, I want to see this coming in because I know this is so important to all of us. Speak less, listen more from Watana. To groom, to shape, to inspire from Jeffrey. Do not criticize, of course, from Daphne. And embrace everybody in diversity. Amran, I'm seeing you to be a better person. That's your takeaway. You count the blessing, yes, from Patsy. To lead is to inspire from Suisin. Kimberly, power of appreciation. Power of appreciation is so, so important. To all of you out there, if you want some more, stay back for another 15 minutes or so. But if you have to go, we want to welcome you all the time to our monthly master class. So the next master class will be in December 18, because 25th would be a Christmas celebration that we're going to do online as well. There'll be a Christmas party. To do the master class, we have moved forward to the 17th, no, to the 18th of December, and we have an exciting speaker. And let me see if Alicia, if you are able to just give us some teaser on what's going to happen in December. Thank you very much, Pat. Yes, we are very lucky. We had this wonderful person speak in July. We've got Kai Rambo, the accredited speaker, coming back in December to deliver the presentation on how to become an accredited speaker. He's a very dear friend of mine and Pat's as well. Um, he is a past international director, served on the board in 94 to 96, and he will <clears throat> be sharing how we can become accredited speakers. He says that this is one of his favourite clubs in the whole world, so he's very excited to return to us. And we're very excited because I think we remember the last time he took us around the, the park, Yosemite National Park, and we got to see Toastmasters um, through the eyes of an animal and we got to see such a vibrant speech. So we get to see past international director, distinguished Toastmaster and accredited speaker Kai Rambo from Florida. Mm. Thank you, Alicia, for the advertisement. Yay, Dato is back. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, do now make, make really full use of this opportunity to stay on. With this advanced hashtag audience speakers, we are so grateful to have your presence. We love you all the time. Our weekly meeting is on every Monday, 12.30 to 1.30 Malaysian time. And we are more than excited to have you as a member. If you resonate with us, if you have completed your education title at the Pathways Level 2, we want to welcome you. In fact, we're going to very soon usher in our four new members and that will happen very shortly in the month of December. We are so grateful to all of you here. So with this, do stay back for a special session with Dr. Dr. John Lau, our past international president, the one and only Malaysian who has made it all there. Thank you, Dr. for the inspiration. Great, with this, I shall now hand the control 
over to ask Dr. Anything Master Stephanie Tan. Stephanie is right now serving in District 102 as program quality team. She's also a member of Smatly, hopefully, but certainly she's a member of Advanced Hashtag Audience Speakers. Over to you, Daphne. Thank you, President Patricia. Uh, now that you have heard, all of us have heard from Dato, do you have any question that you want to inquire or, or explore to understand better from Dato? You may just unmute yourself, raise your hand, unmute yourself, and share with us your question. We have only about 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes, so grab the opportunity. All right, maybe I shall start. Dato, you mentioned deal with the problem, not tackle the person. No. When we are in a situation or in a group of people 